Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is on complex numbers and it's about graphing those numbers, okay? Alright, so first thing we're dealing with here is plotting 4 plus 7j. And just a reminder that the 4 is the real number and the 7j is the imaginary number. So when we're plotting this, we say, okay, where's the, where's the 4 going? It's on the real axis, which is this axis. And the imaginary axis is here. So we're going to plot 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's to this point. There's our 4. Then we're going to add the 7j. So we're going up the j-axis. 7, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So here we are, right there, more or less. And this is the 4 plus 7j. Okay, and that's it. And again, we're stopping right here. Okay, and what we're just drawing here is a vector, okay? <coughs> All right, so next one. So here we have 6 minus 4j added to 5j. So the first thing I'm going to do is plot the 6 minus 4j and the 5j. So 6 minus 4j, we're in the positive real, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right here. And then minus 4j, so we're going down the imaginary axis, so 1, 2, 3, 4. And then essentially we're just drawing a line over to here, okay, and our vector is here. All right, so that's our 6 minus 4j. And we're adding it to 5j. Now 5j is on the imaginary axis and it's a positive. So we're going up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So then right here is our 5j. Now what we want to do is add those two vectors together. So the easiest way to do this is just solve it here. So we have 6 minus 4j. We can see that we can just drop the brackets and we're adding it to 5j. So the 6 remains a 6 minus 4j plus 5j gives us a plus j. Okay, so then when we are, when we're adding them together, we end up with the 6, which is again on the real axis. So going in this direction, we have our 6. Okay and plus j. So the plus j is 1 up on the imaginary axis. So it's essentially going up here to this point. So then this is our final vector which is the 6 plus j and there it is. Right? 6 plus j. And that's when we add the two of them together. Now if you want you can pause the video and try this one. I'm going to walk through it anyway. <coughs> but if you want to give it a shot you can. Alright, so here we have um, two, two complex numbers that are added together. So the 4 minus 5j, so we're going to plot that one. So 
one, two, three, four on the real axis, so to this point, and then minus 5j, which takes us down one, two, three, four, five, down to this point. So then our vector is here. Okay. So this is the 4 minus 5j. We're adding it to minus 3 plus j. So the minus 3 again is on the real axis and it's going in the negative direction. So we have 1, 2, 3 to this point. And it's a plus j, so we're going up 1. So then our other vector is here. Okay? And that's the minus 3 plus j. <coughs> now again, the easiest way to add them is just to get rid of our brackets here and add them up. So we have 4 minus 5j added to, actually let's just forget that. Notice the plus times the minus, that will give us a minus, right? And then the plus times the plus j will give us a plus j. So we end up with minus 3 plus j. All right? I'm just going to rewrite that. So 4 minus 5j minus 3 plus j. Now, 4 minus 3 gives us 1. Minus 5j plus j gives us minus 4 j. So now we'll plot the resultant. And the resultant is 1, so we're moving 1 on the real axis here in the positive direction, and minus 4j, so 1, 2, 3, 4 to this point. Okay? And our final vector is plotted here. And remember when we're doing this, we're really adding these two vectors. So in essence, this, this answer makes sense. If we'd have ended up with an answer going up here somewhere, we'd have to say, oh, you know what, maybe I made a mistake somewhere. But these two vectors, it makes sense that they would add up to this. Okay, last question. <coughs> So our first vector is 2.5 plus 0.5j. So 2.5 on the real axis, 1, 2, and then 0.5j, oh wait, 2.5, that's right here, and down half, so right at this point right here, about halfway. So there's our first vector. And we're subtracting minus 6 plus 5.5j. So minus 6, we're going this direction, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And up 5.5j. So 1, 2, 3, 4, Five and a half, all right? So this vector, I probably need a ruler, is here, all right? So minus six plus 5.5j. And here we have 2.5 minus 0.5j. Now what we're doing is subtracting. And again, the easiest thing to do here to find the resultant is to walk through these numbers and essentially add them, right? 
or we're subtracting, but in the end it'll, we'll have an addition. So we have 2.5 minus 0.5j. Now we have minus minus 6, which gives us a plus 6, and minus times the positive 5.5j gives us a minus 5.5j. Okay? So now we have 2.5 added to 6, which is 8.5, and we have minus 0 0.5 added to minus 5.5, which gives us minus 6j. Okay? So that's what happens, that's what we end up with when we subtract these two vectors, all right? So 8.5, we're going to end up with 8.5 minus 6j. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8.5. So we're right here, okay? And then minus 6j, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right down here, all right? And what I need is a ruler, otherwise I'm going to be off. And we end up with this. <coughs> okay, so there's your final vector. 8.5 minus 6j. All right. And that has been brought to you by Wise Guys. I hope you have a super day. Take care of yourself.